Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Ty, and it has been a long time. Now, I know the deadline for the mock competition was in the beginning of July, but for about a solid month, because it's almost like the beginning of August now, or at least at the time of this recording, I didn't really keep you guys informed, or I didn't upload any content regarding the mock competition, so I'm sorry for not letting you guys know about what's going on, but in this video, I am finally here standing in front of you guys to announce the winners, so you're going to want to stay tuned because your entry just might be featured in this video. I'm going to break this video down into three sections. The first section is going to be dedicated to people um, that I want to give honorable mentions to, and honestly, there's quite a bit of them, so please be patient about that. The second section is going to be my my top 10 list, which is definitely what you're going to want to stay tuned for because there are a ton of good entries on that list. And last but not least, for my third section, I'm going to have a slideshow featuring the entries that didn't quite make it on the chart but definitely deserve some recognition. So stay tuned, and in the meantime, let's get rolling. Alright, so I'm going to start with honorable mentions. The first honorable mention I would like to give is for Marvelous21, and he entered this lightsaber with a custom display stand. Very, very cool to look at, very detailed throughout. I especially like the design of the handle and the actual blade. Another honorable mention for Lego Pig, and he entered this Jurassic World mock. Now this thing actually looks pretty cool. I especially like the design of the railing and also the, the just the texture of the terrain that he did use, I believe, a snot brick technique for. Anyway, awesome build, dude, if you are watching this video. Also, an honorable mention to Cozy Evil Bear who entered this modular compatible surf shop. Now what I like most about this is this custom surf, I guess you could say surf wave, or just I'm just gonna say wave to keep it simple, but he did have this cool design on the front that definitely does give it a surf vibe. Another honorable mention to Kick a Brick who entered a news network mock. Now this is kind of hard to explain, but I absolutely love the concept behind this. As a matter of fact, I want to make one of these myself. Thanks for inspiring me on that. Another honorable mention to Break the Bricks Down who entered this neat looking house. I especially like the color contrast here, the black and the yellow. We also have this neat creation from Dominic JK. He entered this antique shop and with all the various items he included, I think they definitely give this build a charm and make it look just like an antique shop. Another honorable mention goes to Brickspiration Studios who entered this retro contemporary house. An awesome mock, he definitely went above and beyond here, especially how one portion of the house is actually angled, and that can tend to be a very difficult thing to do with houses. We also have Wuffy Woo who entered a house mock as well, and this is a modern type design. Looking at this mock, it looks like this dude spent a lot of time making this. The whole entire build throughout is very well detailed, so awesome job on that. Next up, we have Bree Breezy, who entered this cozy looking house that you'd probably find in some sort of country setting. And to accomplish that, she did use this dark orange and also this pretty little tree on the front. I think those all add some charm to this build. So Bree Breezy, awesome job here. I really actually like this build. We also have this modular townhouse from Bricks Only. I like the detailing, especially on the front and even the inside. I like the color contrast here and the various techniques and styles of architecture he used. And last but not least, for our final honorable mention, I know there's so many of them, but we have this Lego creation from Riley Wygant. But anyway, he entered this super cool modern house. Specifically, I like the use of the color contrast and the various techniques that he used to give this a modern style of architecture. And not to mention, he definitely, definitely did a good job at making this look modern. For the second section of the video, we have the top 10 entries. Now, this is what all of you guys have probably been waiting for, so let's blow right into it. So for number 10, we have Breaking Brick Productions with this tower base on Kashyyyk. Now, this is Star Wars inspired, and I especially like the use of all the Star Wars characters. And even though this is a pretty big build, he still did stick to a high amount of detail here. There's a lot of detail to see, so the fact that you can maintain a large build while at the same time maintaining detail, it's a very difficult thing to do, and I think this guy did an excellent job at that. So if you're watching this video, super, super good job, and keep it up. Coming at number 9, we have Tay Bricks who entered this modular compatible Gucci store. Now personally, I've made a Gucci store before, but it wasn't a modular like this. So to see a dude do something kind of similar to what I did is, is pretty cool, it brings some nostalgia to me. So Tay made this pretty large modular building, and honestly I'm pretty impressed, especially with the front, I like the Gucci logo, and in the very back, 
he included this, you know, this large transparent window and inside this super nice looking tree. Personally, I'm a big fan of Japanese blossoms and that kind of reminds me of it. Coming in at eighth place, we have Lego Man John Manicius and he entered this colorful house. Now, what I specifically like about this is the color. When I first saw this, I totally was thinking about the movie Up. But anyway, this reminds me so much of it, brings back so many childhood memories because literally that movie was my life. It's an overall very aesthetically pleasing build to look at, especially with the color, as I keep mentioning. But anyway, awesome job. I definitely think that this guy deserves eighth place. Coming in at seventh place, we have Velo Bricks, and he entered this medieval castle. But what I like about this specifically is the design of the castle. He did a good job at uh, including all the details for the walls. Definitely looks realistic. And of course, my favorite feature is the waterfall, personally. So if you're watching this video, Velo Bricks, awesome work here. And for sixth place, we have Sammy and Bricks, who entered this modern house. It's simplistic. But at the same time, he made it look very humble looking and just, I don't really know how to say it, very aesthetically pleasing, I guess you can say, especially with that modern vibe. This thing even includes minifigures, vehicles, and all kinds of details that just overall add some charm. So if you're watching this video, super good job on this. I'm in love with it, so keep it up. And coming in at fifth place, we have R Bricks, who entered this custom Lego McDonald's. Now, what makes this so special is he actually based this off of a picture from Google. That's a pretty hard thing to do, to take a reference picture and recreate it into Lego. At least, I've done that before with Stranger Things mocks. This thing contains everything that a McDonald's would have, including a drive through of course, the logo above the door, and even the interior has all the features that a McDonald's could contain. So, not only is this a cool mock, but it's extremely realistic and very well done for, you know, such a small space to work with, because after all, this is a pretty decently small mock compared to the other ones that we have on this list. For fourth place, we have MCI Productions and he entered this Lego creation that he likes to call Modern City Life. Now I think the title definitely is fitting for this because it does portray that certain theme or aspect. Not only is this mock well designed, but also the concept behind it is pretty creative and that's why I give it fourth place. So if you're watching this video MCI, awesome job. I think this looks actually very impressive and I'm genuine about that, so keep it up. And finally, we have the top three places. These I seriously want to spend some extra time talking about because these people went above and beyond, gave, you know, their hardest effort to build what they built. So starting at number three, we have Epic Pig 101 with his modern cliff house. Not only is this thing big, but he was also able to sustain a high level of detail here. It's very impressive. I love the creek effect that runs through the front. And of course, the actual house itself is detailed from the exterior all the way to the inside. Um, there are a ton of other little details I can talk about, but this is an overall incredible build. Everything here is very well done. So if you're watching this video, dude, amazing job on that. Congratulations, and I definitely believe you deserve third place. Coming in at second place, we have General Greebles, who entered this Star Wars inspired mock that he likes to call Night Swan. To see a Star Wars inspired mock like this is very cool because it's very unique. Making a spaceship is something that I would have a very hard time building myself, and I give this second place because just of the level of detail that he put into here with even the platform and the actual spacecraft itself. I'm not very familiar with the Star Wars terminology, so forgive me for that. And last but not least, for first place, what you guys have been waiting for, we have Amazing Creations with this custom Air Hockey arcade machine. Now, I know it just looks like some Lego machine, but what blew my mind away when I saw this was the fact that there's actually a whole entire internal mechanism that is used for this thing to function and that is extremely complex and I would never be able to do anything like this. Seriously don't understand why this guy doesn't have some university degree for engineering but this guy did an incredible job and you need to watch the whole entire video so click the link in the description and not to mention I'm linking everyone's entries. This one definitely blew my mind away and it was an easy first place. So if you're watching this video dude I just want to say congratulations Amazing, amazing design that you did here and keep it up. So there you go guys, that was the video. Now I'm going to conclude with a quick slideshow featuring some pictures or videos, basically creations that I wasn't able to put on the honorable mention and top 10 list. But these people definitely do deserve some recognition. So I don't wanna miss any of you as far as that goes. I am going to conclude for the people that got first, second, and third place, I will be sending gift cards out 
shortly, so check your emails for that. I'll catch you guys next time, so thank you for watching and enjoy the slideshow. Thank you.